Here we're going to be going through a basic example here of how we change from the conventional retail inventory method here to the LIFO retail inventory method. And we're going to be making this change here as the beginning of year 20x2 here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going and we're going to have to calculate our inventory here using this conventional retail method here. And, then our, and we determine our ending inventory and then we'll have to do the same here for the LIFO retail method to determine our ending inventory. And then we're going to be comparing these ending inventories between these two methods here and we determine what type of adjustment we have to make to our inventory. So what we have to do here and let's look at it here because the conventional retail is lower of cost or market we must restate the beginning inventory to the cost basis here and we have to compute this cost basis from the purchases of the prior year prior year adjusted for both markups and markdowns. So let's start with our conventional retail method here. So we have some beginning inventory here both at cost and retail price. This is the cost here is uh, this is a retail outfit. This is what they paid for the inventory here and the retail price that's what they're going to be charging the customer for this um, merchandise that they're selling. So our beginning inventory here becomes the in a, a 20, the year 20x1, the ending amount here in 20x1 becomes the beginning inventory here for 20x2, and that's what we're going to be looking at. So for our, using cause conventional method here, during 20x2, we had these activities. We had purchases here, and then we'd have to add in our markups here. I'm not going to go all through all these numbers here, but you can look at them here. And then we would determine our total inventory here, well, in, including the beginning inventory here, both at cost and at retail price. So uh, we include our beginning inventory with the purchases here for the period, and we come up with our uh, total amount here at cost. And then we would do the same here for our retail price. Beginning inventory plus our these uh, our purchases, our markups here, and we come up with our ending inventory here at retail price. So now we can go and we have to calculate a ratio to the cost of the retail uh, here. And we would take the cost here of 747000 divided by the retail price here of uh, 1090000 And we're going to come up with our ratio of cost to retail here of 68.5%. Now we have to deduct our markdowns, our net markdowns here from our uh, total that we had up here. And we and again, to determine our ending inventory here at retail at the end of here, 20x2 here, uh, we would, uh, we're going to have to deduct our net sales for the period here. So taking our markdowns less our net sales from our total here, we were going to come up with our ending inventory here at retail at 112%. Now to determine our ending inventory at cost here, 1231 uh, 20x2 here, we just take our cost to retail ratio here, uh, again, that we calculated here, 68.5% times our ending inventory at retail. We get our ending inventory here at cost of $76,720. So that, that we've determined here what our ending inventory using the conventional retail method. Now, uh, just to point out here, we have uh, two layers of inventory here when it comes to this LIFO retail method. We have the beginning layer here coming in from uh, 20x1 here of $90,000, and then we have this layer that we added here for 20x2 because we started out with 90,000 we ended up here with 112,000 so we've added some inventory here the difference between those two is $22,000 so we added that $22,000 layer now we have to determine here our LIFO retail or using the LIFO retail method our ending inventory so in this case let's just look at it here we had purchases during the period here um, cost and retail here. And then this is where we'd add in our markups at this. So we add in our markups here, and then we deduct our markdowns here. Uh, so we subtract our markdowns. And then our total amount here, this excluding the beginning inventory. We don't include our beginning inventory in this case. So our total amount here at retail is going to be $990,000. So now we can calculate our ratio of cost to retail. That's the $693,000 cost here, and divided here by the retail amount here of 990,000. We come our ratio of cost to retail here is 70%. So now our ending inventory at retail, uh, we just, we take the conventional amount here, the amount that we calculated up here from our conventional, $112,000. And we just move that down here for our LIFO retail method here, 112,000. And then we would multiply at our cost to retail ratio, the LIFO amount here of 70% times that ending inventory here, 112,000. And we get our ending inventory at cost. Now this is an estimate here 
on 1231x2 here for the retail LIFO retail method here of $78,400. So now we can compare it here to the uh, conventional retail mount here of $76,720 to determine uh, the adjustment that we'd have to make. But before we do that, I just want to go in here and look at this $78,400. Now, using this LIFO method here, uh, we would go through the we could go through these calculations. We went through this here to determine the $78,400 here, but we can confirm it here by going through our LIFO method here. So we ending inventory here at retail prices $112,000, and there's two layers here: the 20x1 layer here, the beginning amount here of $90,000, plus the layer. Uh, we added here for 20x2 of $22,000. So you just take your cost of retail percentage, in this case, uh, was 70% here for our LIFO amount here, times each of those layers here. So our ending inventory at LIFO cost, $63,000 here for 20x1 layer and $15,400 here for the 20 x2 layer. So the total amount here is $78,400. Now this is using the LIFO retail method here and that compares to what we've calculated up here $78,400. Now let's go over and look at the adjustment that we would have to make here. So let's uh, take a looking at it here. So our ending inventory adjustment uh, for 20x2 here. That's what we'd have to make our adjustment here. So we have the difference in LIFO here mine, uh, and the conventional. We're going to look at the difference for, between those. So for our LIFO, we had our ending inventory here at uh, $78,400. And for the conventional amount, we had uh, ending inventory here at $76,720. So we have a difference here of $1,680. And that's the adjustment that we're going to make here. And that's uh, the um, the year-end adjustment. So what we would do here, we would take our inventory account here and we'd have adjust it to the LIFO amount. So we debit that or increase that here for $1,680. So we've we're changing from the conventional method here to the LIFO method and then we would uh, and the credit amount here would go to an inventory adjustment here uh, for $1,680. So this is the amount that we'd have to adjust between the beginning inventory here uh, for 20x3 of the next year here. So we determine what it should be here at the end of 20x2. So this is the amount that we'd have to adjust our beginning inventory here for 20x3. So okay, so that takes care of our conversion here from uh, the conventional retail to the LIFO retail method here.